Counter conditioning involves changing the underlying emotions a dog has about a specific object, animal, person, or environment. Changing the emotions changes the behavior. The reverse is also true. Emotions occur on a continuum. In this example, we will use fear and excitement to show how counter conditioning works because these are the two most common causes of perceived misbehavior in dogs. Fear is at one end of the continuum. Fear varies from extreme to moderate to mild. Excitement is at the other end. Excitement also varies from slight to moderate to extreme. During counter conditioning, a dog passes through a neutral point. When counter conditioning is done, the dog changes her emotions about a trigger from a negative one like fear to a positive one like excitement. An example would be when a dog is fearful of a child but learns through careful conditioning that children can be fun to play with. A dog can also start at a point of neutral feelings and move to one of pleasure or excitement. An example of this is when a dog is neutral about water but learns through positive experiences that playing in water can be pleasurable. With counter conditioning, a dog can start at any level of fear and move through the continuum to any level of excitement. With systematic desensitization, the change in emotions may be in either direction, but the goal is for the dog to become emotionally neutral in the presence of the trigger. Her behavior reflects that. An example is when a dog is fearful of visitors, but learns that they are no threat once they come into the house. At the other end of the continuum is the dog that jumps up for joy on visitors, but learns to calmly greet them with four feet on the floor. Desensitization is a type of counterconditioning. The opposite of counterconditioning, called aversive counterconditioning, can also occur. An example would be if a dog is given a correction in the presence of another dog, then becomes fearful of other dogs. Or if a dog that is excited about going to the groomers is handled roughly, then becomes fearful of going to the groomer. Unlike counterconditioning and desensitization, which may take many positive exposures to make a change, aversive counterconditioning can occur after only one exposure.